right, we're going for the cosine of negative 45. So, think of where we would be here. This would be negative 90, right? So we'd be halfway there. We dipped 45 degrees that way. So our reference angle is going to be 45 degrees. Let's think of the hand trick. Oops. You put down your 45 degree finger. You're left with root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. So both our coordinates would be root 2 over 2. But in quadrant 4, the x is positive because it's to the right, but the y is negative. So that would be our coordinate. Uh, cosine, Chicago white socks, would be our x coordinate. So we'll say the cosine of negative 45 degrees equals our x coordinate, which was root 2 over 2. Great. That one was almost too much fun. Be careful, guys. Don't have too much fun doing this, okay? Hey, I need you to be a little more bored. Tangent of 90 degrees. Okay, Harry. So, 90 degrees, yes, we know. It goes right here, 90 degrees. Oh, it's quadrantal, which means the coordinate would be 0, 1. And tangent, remember, tangent is y over x. Like, why are you trying to hold this over your x? Why is y standing on top of x? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so the y coordinate would be 1. The x coordinate would be 0. You can't divide by 0. So we're going to write undefined. Ooh. Ooh, okay, all right, okay. That's the same slot. Okay, all right. Oh, 31. Tangent of 5 pi over 4. Let's do this. Uh, let's figure out what that is in degrees. So let's do 5 pi over 4. We'll get rid of the pi down there. 180. Oh, goodness. I'm running out of room. The pi goes down here. 180 degrees goes up top. Simplify what we can. We'll get rid of the pies. We don't need the calories. And then 4 goes into 180 45 times. If you chop 180 in half, it's 90. Half of 90 is 45. We'll get rid of that. 180 times 45. 5 times 45 is 225. So let's kind of picture that in our brain. It would go beyond 180 degrees. So if you're looking for the reference angle, you could do 225 minus 180, which leaves us with a reference angle of 45 degrees. Use your hand, 45 degrees, root 2, root 2. So both coordinates are root 2 over 2. But in quadrant 3, they're both negative. And tangent, ooh, man, I'm glad I picked this one. Tangent is y coordinate divided by x. They're both the same. So if you did like 7 divided by 7, it's 1, right? So we're going to get 1. But let's write it out. So y is negative root 2 over 2 divided by, we're changing the multiplication, x, but the reciprocal, 2 over negative root 2. Everything cancels out, even the negatives. So we just get. Hey, you know what? I'll see you in the next video.